Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com. Uh, click the Hire Us button or click the contact form that'll take you to the same place. Fill it out and somebody will get with you as soon as possible. So I've had a lot of questions recently about uh, Synology hard drives. So, you know, I've got that uh, new uh, DS2422 and I recorded all the video for that and then had no audio. So I have to redo that. That is actually going to become my daily driver. So that video uh, is coming. I had to uh, pull the drives and do a few other things. I'm going to stick some Synology drives in there as well as some Western Digital drives so that we can talk about these hard drives. But one of the questions that I've been getting a lot is, are the Synology drives that I've been using, which are the uh, H, uh, the, the eight, eight terabyte drives, I think um, they're the uh, HAT5300-8T, are they reliable? So I've been running these um, around a year, maybe a little longer, and first of all, let me tell you this, my workload on these drives is VMs. So that's what I've been running on these eight terabyte VMs. And I'm always installing different VMs. Uh, probably once a week, I'm deleting a VM, recreating a VM. The only VM that has managed to survive is my uh, Windows Server 2022 180 day uh, trial. That's the only one that has been um, saved from deletion just because I've been doing stuff with it. I don't want to have to reset it up, right? So here is a, uh, a look at the storage manager on the uh, DS1621XS Plus. And this is where I run um, all of uh, my VMs. Now, right now, I'm only using about 25 gigs. And that is the active VM, which is the Windows Server VM. So um, as far as reliability goes... I've not had any issues, but I, I'm not, I don't have huge workloads on this, right? Now, you could have, have had those Western Digital Red Drives that had their problems, not had a, wor a huge workload and had issues with that as well. But, I mean, I am writing and erasing data all the time. I am going to put Blue Iris in a VM, see how it runs, so that'll give us a little bit of a, of a better idea. Now, I'm running this in RAID 1. And, um, like I said, I've not had any issues. The system is happy. Um, but your mileage may vary on this. But I just wanted to let people know because I've been asking, the, people are asking me, like, how are these drives working? For what I've been using the drives for, they've been working absolutely fine, no problems. Now, that being said, Synology is not locking us into these drives. However, if you get a unit where they want you to use these drives, you can install non-Synology drives, but you, you get all kinds of warnings, all kinds of errors and stuff like that. There may be minimized support on the product. So, um, you know, you're, you'll have to roll the dice, decide if that's right for you or not. I can't make that decision for you. I would only run Synology drives where they recommend it or supported drives, right? That's more of the issue. Are the drives supported for that model? But just to answer the question, how have these drives been holding up? They have been holding up absolutely fine. I've got a couple of the, the 12 terabyte drives as well that are uh, going to be used in the uh, the 22, 22, 2422 XS, the one that I've got that's going to be moving over to my, my daily driver. So we'll, you'll have to come back for that. I'm going to re-record the video because I've got a mix of drives that I'm going to put in that, in that box. So... Um, if you've got questions about these drives, I am more than happy to answer them. If uh, you would like access to uh, look at this or if there's specific screenshots that you want, I probably won't give you access to this analogy, but if there's specific screenshots you want, specific tests that you want run, put those down in the comments and I will try to get that information out. But for what I've been using it for, the drives have been absolutely fine. They've been holding up really, really well. Um, and so I would have to imagine that under a heavier workload, they're probably going to work just as well. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. 
please subscribe, please comment and share, please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Those links are all down below. If you'd like to buy your own Synology drives, I'll provide affiliate links to those. They don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks to the channel. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, or click the Hire Us button, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon, that link is also down below. I want to thank you all for being here, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.